Hello, uh, my name is Michael Vinero. I'm working for the Rabobank uh, International uh, Department and I'm the head of the Qualitative Analytics uh, team. And uh, Rabobank is one of the biggest banks uh, in the Netherlands and uh, we're also one of the leading uh, global F&A banks, food and agri banks. So what we try to do is uh, financing from really from the farms up to the, uh, the final delivery of the goods to the customers. I think this is one of our, our expertise and our other banks are uh, really uh, looking up to the Rabobank, how do we uh, finance this whole chain from start, uh, from start to end. Uh, over the recent years during the crisis, uh, risk management has become much more important uh, as, a, as, a, as a department actually within the whole organization. Uh, and that's also what we've seen that the new regulators put much more pressure on risk management and quantitative risk management, so really basing your know, final models on data. Uh, I think this is one of the, the things we want to talk about today. Uh, one of the models that have been sort of uh, developed uh, more recently, and that's stress test. What's your background? What did you study? So, uh, I, I'm working for the quantitative risk analytics team. I'm the head of the team. I've been working for the bank now for, uh, for 10 years. Uh, my background is uh, uh, econometrics. Uh, like most of the people within my team, my team consists of, uh, of nine people, mostly either uh, studied econometrics, mathematics or, uh, or physics. Uh, that's I think uh, especially the background of the people that are, are, are currently watching. My team is responsible for the credit risk, counterparty credit risk and market risk uh, developments uh, within the bank and we then uh, serve actually the quantitative side of the, of the modeling. So we do PD, LDD, EAD, uh, economic capital, regulatory capital model, as well as market risk, a far expected shortfall, counterparty credit risk, uh, interest rate simulation, FX rate simulation. So we cover the whole broad spectrum of, uh, of risk management within the Rabobank uh, organization. Okay, my first question is, why is stress testing so important for banks? So why is stress testing so important? I think over, the, over the, the last couple of years, actually since the introduction of regulation, Basel 1, Basel 2, uh, risk has been measured by, in terms of capital. And capital is, is actually a measure for extreme risk, really extreme risk. Regulatory capital it represents a, a once in thousand years event, and then for our internal capital it even means a once in 10,000 year event. And, and the issue with capital is, is that it's not easy to understand these kind of losses because they're, they're very likely not going to occur in your lifetime. Uh, so it's difficult to, to explain to people that this is an event and that we would have to hold a buffer to recover these kind of losses. Uh, stress testing on the other hand uh, tries to uh, represent a loss that is unlikely but still plausible on the shorter term. So it represents roughly a, a once in 10 year, a once in 20 year uh, loss. And, and this is uh, a value that really means something to people. People can understand, okay, if there's an adverse scenario occurring next year, how much can we lose on our, lot on, on our, on our loans, how much can we lose on our investments. Uh, and, and this makes it much more valuable than just uh, looking at capital. So what do we do within, uh, within the bank? Uh, we have a, a stress testing model, we calculate uh, using the uh, uh, stress test model what could be a realistic, uh, a plausible uh, but realistic loss for the, for the coming year under an adverse scenario and as a bank we have certain thresholds that what represent basically the risk that the bank is, is, is willing to take on this horizon. So for example that could be on, on wholesale banking, uh, we are willing to incur a loss of uh, 400 million. With stress testing, we check with our current portfolio and based on the scenario we have generated, uh, is the, the loss we would incur under such a scenario still below our thresholds that we've set? If it's close to the thresholds, then it will actually go to executive board level uh, to decide whether the banks need to take steps to uh, limit our losses. Uh, could you briefly describe what are the procedures? that you use at Rabobank and how the scenarios are developed. 
the stress testing models, how does a stress testing model actually, how do we de develop a stress testing models and which are the factors that are uh, most important in that. So we, we've gathered a lot of data actually on uh, uh, GDP growth, unemployment, uh, interest rate, inflation, uh, all macroeconomic uh, parameters that, that could influence or actually or which, which sort of measure the state of the, uh, the economy. And we've compared that with actually uh, sort of S&P default rates over time. And what you're trying to do is, is determine which factors, factors uh, determine at a high level uh, the cycle of the economy best. Uh, and in the end, you, you, you get a relatively simple model. You don't need, uh, what I explained, uh, uh, gross domestic product as a parameter, unemployment as a parameter, real interest rate uh, as a parameter. And, and some other factors uh, which try to describe the state of the, uh, the economy. And we've developed this model in, uh, in close cooperation with, the, uh, with uh, the economic research department because they, in the end, generate the scenarios. We are involved on the mathematical side and the economic research department, they are responsible for actually generating the, the scenarios. So what we do in the, in the procedure for every year to actually de develop our, our, our uh, stress tests is that uh, the economic research department, they determine, okay, what's sort of the, the base scenario which, which is expected uh, to occur for the, for the coming year, and they develop an adverse uh, scenario. And using our uh, stress test model, uh, we calculate the corresponding losses to these, uh, these scenarios, we distribute those over the regions and the business lines, uh, and then we can talk to each and every one of the business heads in those departments whether those losses are, uh, are realistic. And in our stress testing model, we, we actually stress two parts. We stress the PD by means of this uh, world factor, which is dependent on, on the four factors I, I, I mentioned earlier. And we also stress the LDDs, so the loss given defaults. So what can happen indeed that in certain scenarios, uh, a, a client that has a 1% PD probability of default, in a certain scenario, we actually expect this default rate to increase from 1% to 5%. And the same holds for the LDD, loss given default, it could be at 10% and in an adverse scenario we expect not to lose 10% on this client but actually 20%. So what you basically do is add up all the losses uh, that we've calculated using the scenarios and that gives your uh, loss at a portfolio level, either at business line or a regional level. What are, according to you, the most important characteristics to be a good risk manager? So what makes you a good risk manager? Manager, I think one of the most important uh, characteristics is you should be objective in all cases. You should not be influenceable by all people uh, around in your risk management. So uh, you can say how you view uh, the risk. And you should always be I think, critical at the results produced actually by other people or even by yourself. Never take uh, mathematical or statistical results just for granted. Always use your common sense to, to, to see whether you understand the outcomes, whether the levels are uh, intuitive or not. So it's not just that mathematics are, are leading your final results, it's common sense that in the end makes uh, your, your, your final results uh, most realistic. Okay, thank you very much for this opportunity. It was a great pleasure to be here and I'm sure that my students our students are very happy for this interview. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for attending this very short and brief introduction on, uh, on stress testing. Uh, I hope you found it interesting and uh, uh, you have probably learned a lot of other topics and uh, maybe uh, we'll meet again uh, within Rainbow Bank. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.